This is EVA Airways. It's a five-star airline and one of the top airlines in the world, according to Condé Nast. And yes, it's pronounced EVA, not EVA Airways. This video, I'm gonna walk you through how we can get on an EVA Airways flight from the US to Taiwan, and potentially, if you want, you can connect into Southeast Asia. We're gonna do this in business class, but obviously you can follow the same exact directions to book an economy class as well. This video is gonna teach you how to earn the points you need, how to search for award availability, and how to redeem those points so that you can get on that EVA Air flight. If we stick around all the way into the end, I'll tell you about how you can get 30% off this flight. If you don't already know, my name is Max, and I help people maximize their airline miles, hotel points, and credit card points so they can travel more, travel better, and travel for less. If you like miles and points content like this, remember to hit the like and subscribe button down below, and let's get started. First up, earn. To make this redemption, we need flexible transferable credit card points. Those are credit card points that you can transfer to different airlines and different hotel programs. In this case, we'll be utilizing Air Canada Aeroplan. So the points you want are American Express membership reward points, Chase Ultra reward points, Capital One Venture Miles, or Built reward points. Any of these points transfers over to Air Canada Aeroplan, and they transfer at a one-to-one -one ratio. And those points will transfer pretty much instantly. You can get the American Express Platinum, American Express Gold, American Express Green, the Chase Sapphire Reserve, the Chase Sapphire Preferred, the Capital One Venture, the Capital One Venture X, or the Built Rewards card, and earn points on all those cards, or maybe a few of these cards, or maybe one of the cards, and then transfer them into Air Canada Aeroplan. So you have a ton of options to earn Air Canada Aeroplan points without ever flying or stepping foot on an Air Canada flight by just transferring those credit card points over to Air Canada Aeroplan. If you're interested in applying for any of these cards, I'll drop my affiliate links down below in the description. And if you apply through those links, I earn a small commission and it helps support my channel. So that's how you earn Air Canada Aeroplan points. Let's get into the redeem section of this video. Before you transfer your points over to Air Canada Aeroplan, you wanna search for award availability first. That essentially means finding seats that are available that you can book with Air Canada Aeroplan points. You don't wanna transfer your points over to Air Canada Aeroplan without finding award availability first. And the way you do that is using united.com. We're not booking through United, but we're just using it as a tool to search for award availability. This is a tip that I learned from Thrifty Traveler, who is also the sponsor of today's video. Thrifty Traveler Premium takes the legwork out of searching for cheap flights, cheap business class flights, as well as any award availability as well. They send flight deals straight to your inbox and those emails have example cities, example dates, as well as booking instructions as well. And so they really take the legwork out of being able to book cheap award tickets or cheap cash tickets. If you're interested in checking out Thrifty Traveler Premium, check out the link down in the description down below. All right, so back to the video. So to get to the old United Award search, you have to type in this URL, but I'll also link it down in the description down below and just bookmark it and use it whenever you're trying to search for a United or a Star Alliance award ticket. So this is the page of the old United Award search. Before we put in our cities and stuff like that, what we wanna look for are like the nonstop routes that EVA Air flies from the US to Taiwan first. So in using flight connections from North America to Taiwan, there are a several different options. JFK, Toronto, Chicago, Houston, LA, San Francisco, Seattle, and Vancouver. If you don't live in any of these major cities, you might have to book a repositioning flight to get to one of these major cities. We're gonna go ahead and click on yes here to book with miles. Let's search one way for now. I'm gonna push this all the way out to 2023 to give us the best chance to find award availability. I'm gonna go ahead and click on two adults and let's click business and hit search. I'm not gonna log in because logging in can kind of skew the results a little bit depending on your United status as well as your United credit card. So I'm not gonna log in and I'm gonna close out of it. So these are our search results and what we wanna use is this 30 day calendar. So clicking on the 30 day calendar, this gives us a full snapshot of an entire calendar of award availability. We want to filter this out for nonstop flights only. So what I'm gonna do is uncheck this box down here that says with stops, and this shows us all the dates that have nonstop flights on EVA Air. The dates in green are what we wanna find. And so these are our search results. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck with stops again. And this shows me the nonstop EVA Airways flight it says business class here is available, two tickets at this price, click on details. And what we wanna find is business fare class I. 
that means it's saver award space. Saver award space means that we can potentially find it on other partner airlines as well. So what we're gonna do is jump over to Air Canada Aeroplan and repeat the search over there. I'm here on the Air Canada page and we're gonna go ahead and click on one way and book with Aeroplan points. I recommend you also log into your account too. If you don't have an Air Canada account, go ahead and create one. And then what we're gonna do is repeat the same exact search. These are the results. As you can see here, Air Canada is charging 75,000 Air Canada Aeroplan points compared to the 88,000 miles that United was charging for the same exact flight. So sometimes it pays off to kind of shop around that same flight with different partner airlines to see what they're charging for the same exact flight. In this case, we're saving 13,000 points. So our next steps is to transfer our points over to Air Canada Aeroplan and complete the booking on Air Canada Aeroplan's page. Now moving on to the maximize section. So one way to maximize this redemption is to book when there's a transfer bonus, like there is currently right now for Chase Ultimate Reward points over to Air Canada Aeroplan points. There's a 30% transfer bonus. A transfer bonus essentially means that you get some extra bonus points by, for transferring Chase Ultimate Reward points over to Air Canada Aeroplan. Chase points typically transfers one to one over to Air Canada Aeroplan points, but since there's a 30% bonus, the points transfer at a one to 1.3 ratio. If I need 75,000 Air Canada Aeroplan points, I can divide that by 1.3 and that'll give me 57,692. And since Chase points requires me to transfer in a thousand point increments, I can round that up to 58,000 points. And so I need to transfer 58,000 Chase Ultimate Reward points over to Air Canada Aeroplan. And with that 30% bonus, that would give me more than enough points to make that booking for that one way flight. For a round trip ticket, I can just double that and it's 116 thousand points. If you look on Google Flights, it's almost six thousand dollars for the same exact itinerary business class which to Taiwan and Taiwan back. If we input this all into my spreadsheet calculator, which I'll link down in the description down below, that's almost a five cents per point calculation. So in this case, it's better to transfer your points out to Air Canada Aeroplan and book the flight that way because you're getting five cents per point versus just 1.25 cents per point if I book through the Chase Travel Portal with the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Again, this spreadsheet is available and for sale, and I'll link it down in the description down below. Another way to maximize the redemption is that you can use Taipei as a stopover city. And so what essentially you'll be doing is that you'll be flying from the US to Taipei, staying in Taipei for however many days you wanna stay, say like you wanna stay a week, then you can continue on to other parts of Asia if you want. And how you do this is multi-city slash stopover. Say you want your final destination for your flight to be Bangkok, for example. What we're gonna do is remove this flight and then that gives us an option to add a stopover city. This is where you put Taipei into here and then length of stopover, click on find. And that gives our option here, a stopover in Taipei and then continue on from Taipei down to Bangkok and it's only charging you 17,000 more points. So if you plan to visit Taipei as well as other countries in Asia, it might be worth it to spend the additional few points so they can see a different country or a different city in Asia since you already flown all that distance across the Pacific already anyways. So that's all I got for this video. Remember to comment below if you have any questions. If you like Air Canada Aeroplan points and you want an alternative way to get to Southeast Asia or the Middle East, you should check out this video. And remember, if you like miles and points content like this, hit the like and subscribe button down below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.